a genius. An A number one genius. That's why I'm marrying you, baby. <laughs> right. Modesty. <coughs> Your modesty. Oh, look at that dog. Wait. Just look at that poetry in pine. It is pretty good, you know. Pretty good? You remember what that looked like? Well, listen, Tony, maybe I ought to give up company and go into the carpentry business. What do you think? I don't know. Or maybe not. That's it. Honey, I was joking. It's not funny. Look, maybe if I... No, do not touch it! Do not... No. Don't touch it. Yes, it's, it's, be be okay. it's going to be all right. Thank God. We were able to stop the hemorrhaging, but... But what? What, what, what about the baby? Come on. I'm the father. I know. I'm very sorry. I really am very sorry. Oh, no. We did everything we could. Everything. Oh, no. Can I see Mindy? She's still in recovery, but when she's moved into her room, then you can see her for sure. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, Philip, can I go? No, with... um, I. Philip. Uh, Philip. Beth. Beth, don't. Come on, let's sit down or something, okay? Rick, give him some time to, uh, understand what's happened, huh? You said, uh, that she was all right? Yeah, she's still a little groggy, but I don't think there's going to be any complications. She's young and strong, physically. Does she know? She was told. I think it's going to take some time for it to sink in now. Oh, when can I see her? Wait a bit, okay. Claire, um, she shouldn't be alone right now. Well, she's still recovering from the anesthetic, Rick. <laughs> I mean, isn't there anything I could do for her? Did you get in touch with her father yet? Oh, yes, finally, yes. They're both finally on their way. Oh, good. Good. Rick, uh, you've done a lot. You know, you may have saved Mindy's life. How you feeling, oh, huh? <laughs> fine, just fine. Yeah? You look exhausted. Why don't you go down to the cafeteria? Come on. I, no, uh, Minnie may need me. She... I, no, you're not going to go too far. Come on. Good cup of coffee with you. Real good. Claire, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Why? Yes, I'm sorry. You know, I have been worrying so much about Mindy that you've been doing all the work. I think you're the one who should get the cup of coffee. Oh, I can use a cup of coffee. Mm. Well, come on, let's go. I gotta do the follow-up with Dr. Schneider. I'll take a break, Jack, okay? I think I'm gonna wait in the sunroom. Hey, okay. listen, you gotta take care of yourself, too. I'd just rather stay in the sunroom, just in case. All right? Okay. I'll let you know the minute Minnie moves into her room, all right? Hey. Don't worry. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. 
Well, I really mean that. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. You want to go talk to Rick? Well, let's go wait with him. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Brad. Oh, man, just what I need. Look, all right. I understand that this place seems like it's going to take a lot of work. All right. All right, it is going to take a lot of work. We don't have to finish everything before we move in. I had supposed that you were interested in the basics of shelter, walls, windows, a roof. Tony, just, just cast your mind ahead and picture the two of us sitting around our fireplace, looking around our home and all the things that we did with our own two little hands our own four big hands. We'll be entirely worn out by then. Well, anyway, we already put a deposit on it. What is money compared to health, sanity, and staying out of divorce court? Well, and it may not bother you very much, but I really love this house. Annabelle, don't <laughs> cry. Of course it bothers me that... Yeah, you're making me feel like a rat. I don't know what's wrong with me. Come here. Let's go on, cry all you want. I don't want to cry. Well, you know. You feel better? You know, I've been like this all week. I have been crying over nothing at all. I've been breaking things. I've been forgetting my appointments. Well, I know what's the matter with you. What? Well, it's just that deep down inside, you know, you don't want to marry me. Told me. It was a joke. A joke. Remember jokes? Don't yeah. joke about that. I didn't think it was that bad. I guess I'm just nervous. What, like going to the dentist? No. No, I, it, it's not It's not getting married that's making me like this. It's getting married. I understand that. Because there's so much to do, you know, and I got all these decisions that I have to make. I keep worrying that I'm making the wrong decisions all the time, like this house. What, this is a wrong decision? Well, you hate it. Who says I... Come here, come back. Get, you here. said you hated. You just did admit that you don't like it. I... You thought I was serious. Weren't you? Hey, you really are off. You know, usually you know when I'm pulling your leg. You don't hate this place? What? Are you kidding? I... I love this place. This place is, is us. I couldn't imagine living any place else. Really? Well, almost. I'd live in a pigsty as long as I was with you. Oh, Tony. <laughs> a pigsty? Which, which this is not, definitely not. So, I think we better get back to work. Because we have a lot to do. Okay. Are you all right? Why not? When I heard you were coming to the hospital, I thought perhaps I I'm was... fine. So what do you want now? You asked for me. What do you high or something? You told the highway patrol that you were my son. So? I was in a jam. I needed to get out of, okay? Of course. That's what mothers are for. It was convenient. That's all. It was the truth. So who told you? An officer called me to verify your story. Yeah, I bet. I don't exactly fit the part to those creeps. 
Why are you here? Is there anything I can do? Go away. Fairness. Hello, Beth. Mindy lost her baby. What? Lou Jack was trying to find Phil to bring him to the hospital. And that's why he was speeding. He was trying to help Philip? Mm-hmm. Where is Philip now? He's here. But he wanted to be alone. And he wasn't with Mindy when it happened? No. Why wasn't he? Because he wasn't. He was with me. I see. What do you see? Huh? What are you digging for? Nothing. What'd you do? Set it up or something, huh? Ask her to go meet Spaulding? Beth, dear, would you mind if I spoke with my son alone? No, she stays right here. This is a family matter. Family matter, huh? She happens to be more family to me than you are, lady. I'll be in the sunroom, Lou Jack. Your cousin must be very upset. That's life. Does Mindy know that Philip was with Beth? So what if she does? Huh? Just because they're married doesn't mean you can't talk to anybody else. Beth isn't just anybody. And unfortunately, this was not the Look, best leave time. Beth out of this. I see. I see, I see. You're always seeing things. You're upset. Bingo. Is it Beth? It's you. You got that? You. You upset me, lady. I mean, when are you going to learn that... When are you going to get it through your head that you can't come barging through my life again, man? And start poking around and giving orders. What orders? Look, I've been getting by just fine for 16 years without you. And I can get by fine without you now. But you did tell them you were my son. I just don't know why this had to happen. I don't know. I mean, man, we were... We were trying so hard these past couple weeks, man. And it's been working. It's, it's really been working. Yeah. I looked for you everywhere, Philip. I know. I mean, I would not have sent Lou Jack to look for you, but I didn't want Minnie to be alone. I know. You did the right thing. Where were you? Sorry about the baby. It's just not fair, Beth. No, it's not. Now that's why you couldn't get a hold of Mindy on the phone. She was here. You two were together? Yes. You were at the stable, weren't you? Yes. Philip, how could you do that, man? How could you do that after everything that's happened? They've moved Mindy into a room. No, but, Rick. Claire, I gotta see her. She's asked to see Philip. Can you believe the red tape that's involved here? Honey, honey, this is only the tail end of it. I have been hunting down doctors, x-rays, and forms all day long trying to get you sprung out of this place. Oh, my night to the rescue. Mm. I swear if I had to eat another meal out of those little plastic cups, I'd be right back in here with malnutrition. What are you doing this evening? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Don't overexert yourself. Nothing strenuous for a couple of days. Sign there. I am going to take that warning as a compliment, son. <laughs> I was thinking, uh, why do we take ourselves out to a nice, fancy restaurant? Oh, Harlan, really? A place where they've got lobsters and, and chocolate mm -hmm. mousse and, and fresh artichokes just dripping, dripping with butter? butter. <laughs> Maybe I should hold your room for a couple of days, just in case. Oh, no, now, don't you worry about me. I'm, I'm not going to get sick or mugged again. <laughs> I 
can take good care of myself. Yeah, tell that to your stomach. I'll be right oh. back. Okay, hurry up. I'm starving. Isn't that H.B.? Yeah, very one and only. Does he know about his granddaughter? What about her? She came into ER a couple of hours ago. She's hemorrhaging badly. Lost the baby. Oh, poor kid. I didn't know that. Somebody ought to tell him. Guess who? How do you like the coffee that brown water? <clears throat> there you go. Oh, thank you. you can collect your valuables from the safe at admitting. Oh, honey, I have my valuables right here. Mr. Lewis, sir. More forms and regulations? No, sir. Well, what is it? Spit it out. It's probably a good thing you're still here at the hospital. Hi. Hi. No, no, don't move. Don't, don't stay. How you doing? You okay? I didn't know where you were. And I didn't know what to do. I'm sorry. Oh, Mindy. I'm so sorry. She's going to be just fine. As a matter of fact, you can see her next. You just wait right here, and I'll be back shortly, okay? Thank you, Brooke. Harlan, I am so sorry. Where the hell was her husband? He should have been here when all this was happening. Mindy's sleeping now. So, uh, you decided to show up? I got here as soon as I could. Mm -hmm. Well, you should have brought her in. You should have been there when it was happening. Well, obviously, I wish I had been. Well, where were you? I was out. I left a note. Left a note? Well, yeah. that note didn't do Mindy much good, did it? This is all your fault. No, wait no, a minute. Harlan. It's not, not. It's not my fault. You never cared about my granddaughter. Hey, You're probably wait, glad no, this well, happened. Wait, you no, never I cared do care. for her. No, come on. I do care about her. We've been working things out, and you know it. Oh, working things out? Yeah. That sure don't sound like much of a marriage to me. Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you got a mess here, boy. I want to know what you're going to do about it. Man, I don't need this right now. I am not yes. through talking to you, boy. Leave me alone. Her grandfather's down there right now. She has to see him next. But maybe after that, huh? What's the point? She knows that her family's very concerned, Rick. Claire, I am concerned, too, but that doesn't seem to matter. She's been through an awful lot. You I know, know that. that. I know that. Maybe she'll want to see you next. Hmm? Well, as long as I stay in line, no thanks. Rick! Louie, take over for me with Minnie Spaulding, would you? Hey, wait a minute. Look, I gotta get out of here. I've been here 12 hours. Okay. Would you please? Any questions, ask Dr. Schneider. About that cup of coffee. Okay. Um, I'm listen, sorry. Listen, I'm gonna be in the sunroom. I'd like to see Dr. Schneider when he gets a minute, okay? Sure, you, you got it. Philip! You Minnie okay? Yes. Oh, God. We lost the baby. Hold on a second. You were at the country club. Yeah. Doing what? I was just talking to a friend. Yeah, but my little girl was in pain. She needed you. Listen, I came here as soon as I could. Boy, I... you had a pregnant wife. You don't go gallivanting around. Darling, listen to me. This was not, this was not Philip's fault. I was only gone for a couple hours. Yeah, and Mindy lost the baby. There's nothing that I could do about that, Mr. Lewis. Hey, wait, if you relief. You Billy. think you're off the hook or Billy, something? shut up! Oh, just Dad. stay out of this, Reva. I bet you, boy, that you are even glad Mindy has lost her Let baby. me tell you something. It was my baby that I lost tonight, okay? It wasn't just Mindy's. It was mine, too. You, you don't give a damn about that. Oh, that's right, boy. Walk away. Just go away. Nobody cares about you anyway. Take it easy, all right? Yeah. It's, not oh, gonna on, help. I, I, it's not gonna help, Mindy. I feel so useless. I just wasn't here. Nothing I can do. I know that. Billy, you had no right Just to talk to Philip that stay way. Stay out of this, will you, Reva? He is hurting too, Billy! Look, 
It's a family matter. You ain't family. You never were. You never will be. Problem here, folks? Yeah, there's a problem. No, there's no problem. We just got some very bad news, that's all. Huh? Well, this is a hospital, miss. Other folks are dealing with problems, too, only Look, quiet. We, we have it under control, all right? I hope so. He had no right to talk to that boy that way. Leave him be, girl. He's grieving. So is Philip. Maybe. He cared about that baby just as much as any of you did. Maybe more. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. I'm going to see to it that he knows there's someone who understands. Yeah, it stinks. What can I do? Oh, and Alex, there's nothing you can do. Actually, there is something you can do. What, dear? I wanted to talk to Dr. Schneider, but if I hang around here, I'm going to get in a fight with Billy Lewis, and that's not going to do me any good. I'll so see the doctor. Yeah? Where are you going, Philip? I'll go home. I guess I'll just go home. <laughs> Well, I'll go home. I don't... I don't know exactly what home I'm talking about, but... Stay with me, darling. That house is more your home than any place no. else. You grew up there. No, I'm sorry. I don't want to do that. I think I'll just, uh... I'll just go find some place by myself. Maybe I'll go to the stable. No, you could stay at the boarding house. I'm sure there's a room there. I don't think that'd be a very good idea right now, Beth. Right. Let me know if there's anything I can do. Anything. I better go. I brought you here. I'll take you back. Come on. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Come on. I'll find Mindy's doctor. Call me at home later. And try to get some rest, Philip. Oh, oh, Philip. I don't want to hear any more. Yeah, I mean it. Yeah, I'll just bet you don't, honey. But uh, I just want to tell you that I've been on that receiving end from the Lewises for a long time now. And I don't want you to let them get to you because it's not worth it. Believe me, I know. Is it a boy or a girl? Uh, darling. Daddy, I didn't mean for this to happen. That's okay. I know you didn't mean it. You're disappointed in me, though. No. Don't ever say it. I'm not disappointed in you. I let you down. No, you didn't. You didn't let me down. You're the most beautiful daughter a man could ever have. I want you to know that I love you so much. I love you more than anything. What I was thinking was that maybe we could combine your stag party with the bridal shower that Bea is throwing for me. Combine us in boys and girls together? Yeah, because when you think about it, a, a stag party is sexist. <sighs> I mean, for that matter, so is an all-girl shower. Don't mess with my stag party. So, um... So, what do you guys actually do at these stag parties, anyway? It's an ancient secret. Do you really watch those movies? My lips are sealed. <laughs> do you know what we forgot? What? We forgot the rehearsal dinner. 
What? You're supposed to have this dinner the night before the wedding with, with your uh, bridal party and your uh, best friends and your relatives, and we completely forgot to set aside time for it. What if... Well, those are the breaks. I'm not giving up my stag party. Ah! <laughs> there. It's perfect. <laughs> it is, mm. you know, it really is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I kind of like it that way. Good. I'm not touching it again. Tony, Tony, honey, listen, tell, tell me if you like this pink color. Maybe I better look at it in the light, huh? Mm-hmm. be condemned. That's just a light fixture. That's very easy to fix. <laughs> no, you see, this house doesn't like us. It doesn't want us here. No, that's, that's not true. I think your paint's great. Nice and bright. Okay, then would you just hold the ladder so I can climb up here? Just, just what are you hold doing? on for a second. What are you I'm doing? I'm painting. You don't know anything about painting. What are you doing? What's to know about painting? You you start at the ceiling, you work your way down. You've got a big brush for the big places. And a You're going to break your corners. neck. No, I'm not. I'm fine. I think you should come down. No, Tony, if you... No, now, no, we, you can't do that. I'm going to lose my balance. I'm, I'm serious. You I am... No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Yes. No, huh, don't get up on the lap. You can't climb on that side. Mm -hmm. Tony, I... Why not? Honey... Don't, don't you come you any closer. Kiss. No, I'm not going to give you a kiss on Please. the ladder. Oh! Oh, dear. Just starting to feel human again. Yep. Mm. Rick, you want to talk about it? <laughs> What's to talk about? I'm in love with somebody who doesn't love me back. I know the feeling. It's like such a mess. Every time I think about it, I get angry all over again. Life can be pretty unfair sometimes, you know. She's got a father, Claire, that will give her everything in the entire world. A grandfather. A husband. And she chose him herself. Why me, Claire? I mean, every time that she's in trouble, or she's mad, or she's angry, or she's happy, why does she always get a hold of me? She knows she can count on you, Rick. She knows you'll always be there for her. One of these days, Claire, I am not going to be there. She's such a child. I mean, oh, I just wish, Claire, that she would open her eyes and look at life that's real. She's been through a lot. I bet you she will. Maybe she will, maybe she won't. But I just cannot sit around anymore and wait for her. I got my own life to live now, Claire. I just gotta get over that, so I just gotta get over it. You had no business lighting into Philip like that. Oh, Philip Spalding can take care of himself. And if he can't, Reeve is going off to help him. 
She's going to take the boy under her wing, save him from the wicked Lewises. Typical. Ah, uh, she got spunk. You got to hand it to her. And a good heart. You were a fool to let her go. <laughs> that's a good one, H.P. That's, that's, a, that's a good one. I only have you to thank for that, you know. No. I'm going to let you take full credit. Oh, come on. <laughs> Who was it that thought it was so all fired important that I know about Reva's dirty deals with Alan Spaulding, huh? It's always important to know the truth. It's how you handle the truth that uh, really counts. H.B., you were just trying to break us up. Joshua, I was afraid you'd never be able to accept Reva for what she really is, and obviously I was right. You had some make-believe idea in your head that she couldn't ever live up to, not in a million years. You never understood Reva, Josh. And you never will. That's been my point from the very beginning. not the best chef in the world, but I certainly could rustle up some food. You hungry? Mm -hmm. How about a drink? Thanks. You look all done in. It's been a long night. Philip, I, I wish there was something I could say. But there isn't, is there? It just doesn't seem real, you know? Yeah. You know, this morning, Mindy and I were getting ready to have a baby. You know, for the first time tonight, I, I, I really felt close to, to Melinda Sue. She and I, I mean, I practically raised her when her mama died and Billy married me. Oh, boy. We never really got along. We were always too busy playing tug of war for Billy's attentions. <laughs> Ooh, wee, she was a little brat. Hard to believe that she's old enough to even have a baby, much less lose one. I, I, I am sorry. I, I didn't... It just seems that lately I, I uh, can't seem to open up my mouth without the wrong thing coming out. You want me to just shut up? When I first heard Melinda Sue was pregnant, oh, I was jealous. <laughs> and not just a little jealous, I was a lot jealous. I always wanted babies. But I was afraid that I was gonna have to give up too many things. It's funny, someone just accused me not too long ago of being a good time girl being too selfish to care about anything but myself. And that's the way I always thought of Melinda Sue. But there she was, having that little baby and really starting to get into it, too. Yeah, Mindy loved that baby. Yeah. Yes, she did. It was written all over her face. I think she wanted that little baby more than she's wanted anything in her life. Sometimes we, we just... We change our ways too late, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it.
Don't stop. Close your eyes. Relax, man. You're not relaxing. I can't stop thinking about what happened. You mean you can't stop thinking about Spaulding? I mean, Philip. I can't stop thinking about Philip. Or Mindy. It is your hard work that did it. You hear me? I am so happy for you. Yes, I am. Oh, and for Hillary, too. <laughs> yes, it's finally over. It's finally over. Well, I, I, I guess you're not going to be needing me in the lab tomorrow morning, will you? No. <laughs> no. Hey, you take all the time you want with Hillary. Absolutely. Doctor, congratulations. <laughs> Is you real okay? Yeah. Yeah. I've been so busy with Mindy, I forgot to call Jim and see how Hillary was doing. It's, uh, it's great news. Isn't it? Isn't it great news? I don't believe it. All these months finally over. Over? I, I didn't even stop to think that it could be over. Oh, it's really great to see our work paying off. I tell you, it's great. We, hey, we make quite a team. <laughs> quite a team we make. Yeah. This calls for celebration. Absolutely. We gotta celebrate. Coffee? You want some coffee? Huh? Yeah, let's have some coffee. Absolutely. Well, I'm sure it's a lady. Great to work with. Great pal. Good old dependable kid. You better believe it. Don't sell yourself short. whole life, I've been able to take care of everything. I mean, when she scraped her knee and when she hurt herself now, one time it really counts, I can't do anything. She's gonna be just fine. Yeah, I know. You know what she said to me? She's worried about Philip. I mean, after all she's been through, she thinks that he's not gonna want her because uh, you don't think he said anything to her, do you? Oh, no, no. Just let him try. I mean, he's not gonna have to kiss the ground she walks on. Billy, let's go. She needs a rest, okay? Okay, you go ahead. I'll, I'll be out in a minute, I promise. Okay. Make 
everything okay, so you don't have to worry. Third and Thursday, May 24th, you can call in your choice for either Quentin Jr., Anthony James, or Tom Henry. Now, don't forget. This has been Guiding Light. Fashions provided by Lily Rubin Salon, South Southwest, Miriam Haskell, and Barney's.